Hello, it's your girl Jada. Welcome back to my channel for another makeup look. And actually, more specifically, as you can see, a galaxy slash goddess slash angel look. Hey y'all, the audio did not turn out for this video, but I just bought a new audio recorder. So this ain't never happening again. I apologize for the audio in this video. Peace. I was actually given this idea from a friend of mine who wanted me to do a galaxy look and I was like, how hard can it be, right? So when I thought of galaxy, I, there was a lot of things that came to my mind. Um, specifically, I will actually add some photos of inspiration because it's really hard for me to describe and when I tried to describe it, it sounded really dumb. <laughs> When I thought of galaxy to me, I thought of Afro's storm-like character, kind of Mother Earth, not Mother Earth, universe, it's the blackest that you can get, right? Blackity black black. Gosh, this is so embarrassing. I'm such an embarrassing person. So here I am. This is the look that I felt embodied the galaxy look to me. Um, that being said, um, before we can get into this look, I wanted to speak a little bit to uh, the obvious turmoil that is going on in the world currently. I'm not going to say too much. Um, I'm not here to teach. I am not, even though I do look like a galaxy goddess, I am not a teacher. <laughs> and I am not here to educate every single person that watches my channel, even though there's not many people that watch my channel. Um, I just want to put it out there that if you do have a platform and if you, and not even if you don't, I just want to urge everybody to just do their part and to just stay aware and educated on the matters at hand and to do as much as they can um, to help Black people specifically in what we are going through right now in this country. Um, so, so I will be putting some links into my description of ways that you can be an ally and you can help in the movement um, specifically petitions you can sign and just articles that are very, very helpful um, in speaking of systematically what is happening in our country and what has been happening since this country was built. Um, and I'm speaking specifically of America because that's where I am right now, if you didn't know. Um, but this affects the world, but I'm speaking specifically of America. And so I would urge you to go and check out those links um, and just do as much as you can um, because we're going to need every single person that can help to help. It is not a matter of race. It is a matter of us coming together to try to dismantle what has been built to disadvantage all of us. Okay, um, that being said, let's get right into this video. So hi, welcome, this is me, full face of makeup on. I finished everything from foundation, concealer, bronzer, contour, brows, everything. Primed and set and we're ready for this makeup look that you saw in the beginning. And we're just gonna get right into the look, the important part of the look. Hopefully this will be easy, simple, and quick. So majority today I'm thinking I will use my Jackie and Patricia palette, which is usually what I use all. I realize the majority of what I use is already kind of black owned slash black created partnered, what have you. I use my Fenty today and my Beauty Bakery, so 
yeah <laughs> already off the bat we're doing really great <laughs> in that retrospect i think i'm gonna get you started with the patricia palette today um it's gonna be a lot of the colors that we used before i think i'm gonna get started with nobu since it is a galaxy look so i'm i'm, I'm feeling very much dark blues some purple maybe some teal and that would be about it for me for this look so I'm gonna use a very loose brush. So I'm thinking I will use this brush. It's clean, it's just like, it's it was a white bristle, so it's like stained. Um, it's a very, very loose brush. And we're just gonna dive into that Nobu. I'm not going to be as heavy handed. I don't want my whole face to just look crazy. So we're just gonna start and just, Brushing that over where I want it to go. It's okay if it's splotchy. I feel like the point of this whole look is that it's not so cool. Like space is very much just splotches of color. And you can honestly put it wherever you want it to go. Because um, I'm gonna mostly primarily do it over my nose, but I've seen plenty of photos where people did it like over their forehead, down. I'm not really trying to do all of that. That's a lot. Um, I just want this look to be simple, clean, nice. Nothing too crazy. And be prepared because I think that this look is going to need a lot of patience and blending because we want the colors to all melt together. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go into my second color already. And this time I'm gonna go into my Jackie palette and I think I'm gonna go into Big Wig, this really nice purple. I probably would usually use a different brush, but This is like the fluffiest brush I have. So we're gonna get into big wig and we're just gonna use that same brush for right now. If it causes me trouble in the future, then I'll know. Just tell no not to do that going forward. I'm thinking go dark in some places and then maybe as dark in others. My work of art. Also, the plus of using the same brush is um, you will get some of the other color to come through, and I feel like that's actually kind of nice. Like, I kind of did that over here a little bit. Because, like I said, the whole point is kind of making everything kind of mesh together in the end. I'm gonna go into Surprise next, which is like this pink color. I'm actually, I'm gonna dip into my matte book just for the super dark blue because there's nothing on either of those palettes that has like a super dark blue because I, I need to get a little darker. So I'm gonna try to mix that in with the no blue that I used. So everywhere that no blue is kind of kind of blending in with that. Ooh. Ooh. It blends in really nicely with the um, big wig as well. Which is nice. I'm going to go in with a different brush just to blend. It's trial and error at this point. Just do whatever feels right, whatever, however you want it to turn out. I feel like this is when the artist part comes into play when you're speaking of like makeup artists. It's just 
It's whatever you want it to look like. There's no right or wrong way to do it. So I'm gonna go clean up this right here because I think I don't like how low it is. And then we'll come and we'll do the little details. But honestly, relatively speaking, like this is it really. This is all how we're doing. So it's not bad. But the details is what will really put it over. So BRB. So one of the details I would really like to add actually is I feel like this look needs like shimmer. So I think that I'm going to incorporate some Duelist. It's like a gold. I'm also incorporating Shookington, which is just a, a more shimmery purple. To bring some depth. So, so I'm gonna use my Zuva uh, Hydro Liner in the shade white, of course, which with their matching detail brush, it's very, 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 very thin, as you can see, to get that really good detail. This stuff is really nice. I never posted my review on it, but it's water activated. Um, and it's really, really great for super detailed looks, such as if you wanted to draw a Nintendo Switch icon on your face. You know, just for as an example. But in this case, we are going to be using it to make stars and constellations. I'm going to need my mirror for this. I'll try to show you what I'm doing as I do it though. But I'm honestly just going to be doing stars and dots. And that's it. Like that. Easy, right? <laughs> and it's just really simple stuff. Like, like imagine the stars that you drew in your notebook in high school. Like, just stuff like that. <laughs> and honestly, um, if you have like star stickers, that would work really nice too. I'm just gonna do a random shape because this is space and you can do whatever you want to in space. Not to mention this look is technically supposed to be kind of goddess-esque, so this doesn't even have to be in our galaxy. This can be like a, the galaxy of Wakanda, its own, its own. Because Lord knows we have to get off this planet at this point. The world is not here for us. So I'm just gonna do some big stars and like I said, I'm just gonna make my own constellation. Another thing that would work really well for a look like this is, let's give it a try. I don't know if this will work, but. I can't do that. It's not working. <laughs> uh, getting a bigger brush would work probably. Oh, that one worked. <laughs> that time it worked. Oh, wow. Oops. Wow. That's cool. That's really cool. That's actually genuinely cool, guys. I'm getting it all over my hair, but it's fine. Wow. You guys can't see it. I'm probably gonna maybe do some close-up shots so you can see it, but yeah, I just made a whole bunch of dots. But if you wanna get that same look without having to spray your face with a bunch of uh, milky water, then you can just, milky as in the color, <laughs> a whitish, whitish uh, water, then uh, you can just, you know, do just a bunch of dots everywhere. We're gonna use this instead. This is the NYX uh, Vivid Lights in the shade light show spectacle luminix i honestly don't recommend this this is just what i have on me um i would recommend anything else <laughs> i bought this a long time ago and i haven't used it since because it's not good but um this was kind of a last minute look 
idea and I did not have anything else gold at the moment, at hand. So you probably can't see it that well, but I'm kind of just adding gold specks. specs. Okay, so I zoomed in to show you can see a closer look at the makeup. I just think I want to add a little bit of shadow to some of the elements just to make them stand out more. So I'm using a black Sharpie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that gold. Okay, so as you can see, I put wet my hair down a little bit, a little bit. But um, we're gonna continue onward. I have my lashes on. Everything is pretty much done. I'm just gonna do my lipstick, the final, 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 final touch of this look. Okay, so I was thinking of a nude look, lip, but um, I've done that a lot. <laughs> so I'm actually now thinking that I will do a black lip, which I've done a lot, but um. I'll, I'll, I'll show y'all how to spice up a black look, a black lip, because we, we can spice it up, we can spice it up. Usually use Friday, but every time I go to use a black lip, I forget that I lost that one and I like haven't had time to actually look for it. So it's still lost right now. So once again, I'm gonna have to use this. really like about black lipstick is you can kind of like shape your lips any shape you want them to be because at the end of the day black hides everything everything like you have you're having an imperfection issue you can do no wrong with black, black lipstick it hides all mistakes so already this looks really cool but we're gonna make it cooler so I'm gonna dip into this. This is um, a shade that I got from ColourPop. It was like the first order I ever got from ColourPop. And it's the shade Super Shock Shadow. And it's just like a really nice teal blue. And I'm just gonna put that on my lip with my finger because I at least can like use different fingers if I need to. That's kind of cool. <laughs> that kind of worked out nicely. Does it match? <laughs> or does it like not match, guys? It's not matching as well as I want it to. So, maybe if I add like pink. So I'm gonna use this pink and see what happens. Hmm. Better. I think better. I think better. And this is a finished look. Oh, I even have like a fancy shirt. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah. This was interesting. I've never done a look like this. That's not true. <laughs> the the halo is telling that I've done this look before because I had a halo ready to go. Um, yeah, no. This halo is from my Halloween look that I did last year. Go check that out. It was a really cool look and it's on my Instagram. So, you know, all your girl to the girl. No, but um, this was a fun look to do. Once again, I urge you to do all that you can, whether you have a platform or not. Um, speak out when you can. <sighs> Sign petitions. Um, honestly, it's not even about that. It's more so just like know what's going on. Be aware of it. Um, 
and the more educated each of us are on the topic i feel like the more we can go into those booths on election days and make the right decision for this country right um so yeah just be educated just be aware and be on the right side of history honestly <laughs> Honestly, what are you going to tell your kids one day? It's a good point to make, I feel like. Um, once again, I hope that you enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy ya girl. This was more or less a serious or more serious video, um, but I do think it's necessary to speak on. Um, but besides all of that, the look is fun, right? The look is fun. So it wasn't it wasn't too serious, right? The look is fun. The look is fun. Once again, you already know the deal. I'll be here. I'll be making content. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you're notified when I upload. And um, I hope that everyone stays safe. I hope that everyone is taking care of themselves mentally in a time like this. It's crazy. Everything piling on top. Perfect storm, stay safe, stay educated, and I hope everybody's healthy. Okay? I will see you in the next video. Deuces. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saves a wrench like me.